KC Water is committed to ensuring the highest quality work and service to Kansas City. We are excited to welcome you to KC Water's Green Infrastructure Monitoring Training Session to prepare you to be a valuable member of the KC Water team. This training video is a comprehensive guide to conducting a permeable pavement infiltration test. This test method describes the procedure for field measurement of the infiltration rate of water into in-place permeable pavement systems including permeable paver systems, pervious concrete, and porous asphalt. The infiltration testing method consists of multiple steps, temporarily sealing an infiltration ring to the permeable pavement surface, pre-wetting the testing site, and introducing a given amount of water to maintain a constant water level within the infiltration ring. Today, we'll take you step-by-step -step through the standard operating procedure for the permeable pavement infiltration monitoring testing. We'll go over equipment needed, Step 1. Installation Procedure and Site Selection Step 2. Installation of Infiltration Rings Step 3. Pre-wet Testing Site Step 4. Conducting the Test Step 5. Calculations and Step 6. Reporting Let's get started. Equipment Needed The Permeable Pavement Infiltration Monitoring Test requires the following equipment infiltration ring approximately 12 inches in diameter, two five-gallon buckets, a broom, chalk, plumber's putty, a putty knife, water tank or water supply, a stopwatch, a thermometer, a scale, a recording log, and a writing utensil. To perform the permeable pavement infiltration monitoring test, you must also utilize the following personal protective equipment or PPE. A high visibility safety vest is needed in traffic areas. Step 1. Installation procedure and site selection. First select a site. To begin the installation procedure, you will identify two testing sites for each pavement surface being tested. Provide at least three feet between testing sites unless at least 24 hours have elapsed between testing. Next, set up for installation of infiltration rings. Clean each testing site by sweeping away surface trash, debris, and other non-seeded materials. Then place the infiltration ring over the desired area to be monitored and verify that the situation of the infiltration ring is indicative of the pavement surface. For permeable paver systems, move the ring over the surface of the permeable pavement until the pavers and joints framed within the infiltration ring are representative of the pavement system. For grid paving systems, Center the infiltration ring as much as possible on the webs. Mark the testing site by circumscribing the infiltration ring with chalk or other temporary marking. Remove the infiltration ring from the outline and take a picture of it to document placement of the infiltration ring. Note, do not conduct this test if there is standing water on the permeable pavement surface. Also, do not conduct this test within 24 hours of a precipitation event. Step 2. Installation of Infiltration Rings Apply Pummer's Putty around the bottom of the infiltration ring. For permeable paver systems, remove aggregate up to 0.5 inches in any joint that will be directly below the infiltration ring. Then fill the joints with plumber's putty and apply putty around the bottom of the infiltration ring. For grid paving systems, remove any vegetation directly below the infiltration ring up to 0.5 inches. Then apply plumber's putty to the surface of the soil or aggregate if present and around the bottom of the infiltration ring. Press the plumber's putty onto the permeable pavement surface and around the bottom of the infiltration ring to create a watertight seal. Place additional plumber's putty as needed. Plumber's putty may not adhere to the permeable pavement surfaces when surface temperatures exceed 100 degrees Fahrenheit. Step 3. Pre-wet testing site. Pour 8 plus or minus 0.1 pounds of water into the infiltration ring at a rate sufficient to maintain a water level between 0.4 and 0.6 inches. Begin timing when water impacts the permeable pavement surface. 
Stop timing when standing water is no longer present on the permeable pavement surface within the infiltration ring. Record the amount of elapsed time to the nearest 0.1 second. Step four, conduct the test. Begin the test within two minutes of completing pre-wetting. The mass of water to be used varies based on elapsed time in the pre-wetting stage. If the elapsed time is less than 30 seconds, use 40 plus or minus 0.1 pounds of water. If the elapsed time is greater than or equal to 30 seconds, use 8 plus or minus 0.1 pounds of water. Pour the predetermined amount of water into the infiltration ring at a rate sufficient to maintain a water level between 0.4 and 0.6 inches. Begin timing when the water impacts the permeable pavement surface. Stop timing when standing water is no longer present on the permeable pavement surface within the infiltration ring. Record the amount of elapsed time to the nearest 0.1 second. If an infiltration test is repeated at the same location, the second test does not require pre-wetting as long as it's conducted within five minutes after the completion of the first test. When more than one infiltration test occurs at the same site on any given day, average the results of the two tests for a representative infiltration rate. Do not repeat this test more than twice at a single testing site on any given day. Step five. Calculations. Calculate the infiltration rate at each testing site using the following equation. Infiltration rate equals the conversion factor multiplied by the mass of infiltrated water divided by the inside diameter of the infiltration ring squared multiplied by the elapsed time. Step six, reporting. Document the following information in the report or field records. Location of test site. Description of test site. Date of test including the start and finish times. Name of technician. Weather conditions. Diameter of infiltration ring. Mass of infiltrated water. Surface temperature and infiltration rate. Training overview. That concludes the training for the Permeable Pavement Infiltration Monitoring Test. Today, you learned how to perform a Permeable Pavement Infiltration Monitoring Test, including the equipment and steps required. Thank you for taking the time to participate in this training. You play a critical role in ensuring that KC Water remains committed to sustainability, safety, and quality service.